It is Badger Game Day. Meteorologist Savannah Brito and Josh Spryder are live at Camp Randall this morning to get you ready. And we have an update on the cases of West Nile virus in Wisconsin. A look at where in the state people are being affected. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to News 3 Now this morning. On a big day for the city of Madison and the state of Wisconsin, it is Badger football opening day. And we got a team of people out of Camp Randall this morning. Josh Breider, meteorologist Van Abrito, standing by to help get us ready. ready. Uh, uh, take it away, team. Yeah, guys, good morning. So much fun being out here. I was jumping around earlier. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. And I think next time, if you were to jump around at the end, just just a, uh, a suggestion. Because okay. if you do it right away, okay. you're out of breath. And then you got to do the forecast. So if you wait until I after. I know. I was a little out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kudos you to you. Kudos to you for uh, for getting up and around and jumping uh, this morning to get ready uh, for opening kickoff. Uh, how, what's this rain doing this morning and what can we expect today? Yeah, I don't think we're going to be dealing with a lot of rain, at least at this point in time, the rest of the day and actually the days to come. So as far as heavy rain and where that's located right now, for the most part, we have some heavier showers just north of Platteville and then all that heavy rain we saw overnight that actually prompted a few severe thunderstorm warnings that were west, at least of Madison, kind of around Mount Horeb in uh, eastern Dane County or western Dane County and then also west of that area moving out of here now. So we're not going to run into any problems for that hope home opener tonight at 8 at Camp Randall. Temperature is falling to the lower 70s for kickoff and then mid to upper 80s by that end of the game. So I do think temperatures and clear skies are going to stick around or at least um, clouds will clear out for that home opener. So Chris, pretty perfect weather conditions at least later in the day. Not so much this morning, but it's fine because we know the rain's going to move out of here well before 8 p.m. That's good. We needed the rain, but nice to have it move out of here before kickoff tonight. All right, Savannah, we'll check in with you in just a little bit. Meantime, let's get to Josh Breider to continue our Badger game day coverage. He's inside Camp Randall this morning with some changes this year. Josh, what can fans expect? Hey, Chris, good morning to you. We are inside Camp Randall. You can feel the energy already. It's good to see the field, and you're right. There are some changes that fans are going to be noticing starting this evening when they take the field for that 8 p.m. kickoff. Patrick Herb of Wisconsin Athletics is up early with us. Patrick, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Oh, my gosh. Let's go, Bucky. The time has finally come, and you guys are really ready for the season. Yeah, every year is exciting. This year, I think as much as any year two under Luke Fickle and, and having a night game to kick off the season on a Friday night is exciting. And, and you're right, there's some, there's some changes inside the stadium that I think people are going to recognize when they enter. One of the biggest things I noticed right away is that beautiful scoreboard down on the other end. Yeah, we're pretty excited about that. Third largest video board in all of college football. So start there. The, just the size of it increased, and it's this massive, beautiful board. And it'll make for a great secondary screen experience for fans to be able to see. Uh, it's bright. It's got bigger real estate, and so we're excited for some of the features too that it can uh, that we could use to incorporate on game day. Another change on the field is a little bit more for players. You guys have the heated turf now, and it's all level. That's right. They took a crown out of it that was about eight to ten inches, uh, and now they've got heated coils and a different drainage system underneath that allows for. Hopefully, if we're playing a playoff game here in December someday, which is kind of the goal every year that we won't have a frozen field. And so from a player safety standpoint and from a ease of operations, it's going to be a big it's going to be a big change for us. And one of the more popular ones of course is now alcohol being available inside Camp Randall. How is that going to work and what do people need to know before they get here tonight? Yeah, we're excited about it. We've got we've added several grab and go uh, and point of sale locations where to hopefully try to make operations more efficient and be able to purchase alcohol or water, hot dogs, et cetera, in a quicker, more speedy fashion. It's kind of some of the things you're used to, maybe if you went to a game at the Kohl Center or if you've been to American Family Field, some of those quick serve checkout locations. We've also added more restrooms to, to Camp Randall. Predicting that people might be drinking more, they might have to use those as well. So there's over 50 more uh, restrooms throughout the stadium. So both of those things are uh, fun and new additions Toilets maybe not as fun, <laughs> but new and necessary for 2024. Well, and you know Wisconsin fans, we're diehard, right? But it's all about the fan experience, and every year you're kind of catering to those changes, which is necessary. 
Yeah, it's an evolution. You know, college athletics is changing right before our eyes, and there's a development happening right now. And and entertainment needs to change with it too. And we understand that here at Wisconsin that that there's competition for people's hard-earned money, and we want to make sure that this is the greatest experience they can. And we know Camp Randall is is unique, original, and it's a great place. We want to make sure that it stays there and people enjoy their time here. All right, well, this is going to be a rockin' place tonight, 8 p.m. kickoff. Yeah, that's a late one tonight. It's going to be a long day when we're here at 5.30 in the morning, but it's, it's exciting, and there's no place I'd rather be. Awesome, Patrick. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, you bet. Again, we're going to be out here all morning. we got a fun surprise for you coming up in the 608. Chris Stanford, we have some diehard tailgaters that took over gate right. one, and they are bringing all the energy that we need on a Friday morning. Let's go, Bucky. Again, more coverage coming up. Let's do it. Exciting. It's the best time of the football season because everybody's uh, record is tied, and you've got all the optimism headed into their first game. All right, Josh Breider, we're going to check back in with you here in just a little bit. So also new this year at Camp Randall, tickets are fully digital. UW Athletics says the Badger app is the easiest and safest way to go. You can download and purchase tickets on the app, but it means that paper tickets are going to come with a cost. So it's making things easier for a lot of fans, but not all of them. We're going to look into what that means for you, including the challenges and solutions in our next half hour. All right, getting to some of our local news now. We have a major update to our coverage of the West Nile virus in Wisconsin. Health officials say two people who became infected have now died from the virus. Another person is in the hospital. The first confirmed case of West Nile was earlier this month. It showed up in the blood of a donor from Washington County and in a dead bird in Chippewa County. Let's take a look at where the recent cases have been. The deaths and hospitalizations are in Outagamie, Fond du Lac, and Brown counties. Those are marked in red on the screen here. Only mosquitoes can transmit the virus. There are about 18 cases each year in our state. West Nile will continue to be a risk until first frost. So the DHS is reiterating the need for you to protect yourself. That includes wearing bug spray, long sleeves, and pants and consider rescheduling outdoor activities during the evening or early morning hours. The DHS has a specific list of how to treat your skin and clothes when outside to avoid bites. They also have a list of ways to mosquito-proof your home. You can find all that information at this story on channel3000.com. Madison police are searching for a suspect this morning involved in a sexual assault case from last month. Officers say this man right here grabbed a woman inappropriately near the Holiday Inn West. He's believed to have a gray pickup truck with a gray colored topper. If you have any information about this man or what happened, please call Madison Area Crime Stoppers. 607 now, a Wisconsin Dell school counselor is facing child sex assault charges this morning. Police arrested 32-year-old Corey Alfaro this week, oh accusing him of repeated acts of sexual assault of a child. Investigators say they were alerted to an inappropriate relationship Alfaro was having with a student. The school district has notified parents already about this. Well, near this morning, the Dean County Sheriff's Office unveiling some policies to foster inclusivity in our area. The policies increase language access. This is something that our Michelle Renee Quinn has been looking into and is here this morning with the details. Uh, Michelle Renee, uh, tell us all about this. Uh, what's the Dane County Sheriff's Office doing? Yeah, so the uh, policy caters to the diverse population needs of Dane County. Effective communication is essential for accessing services and ensuring public safety. One component of the plan is the translation of vital documents. The Sheriff's Office will soon include the top five languages used in Dane County. Sheriff Calvin Barrett says, this is a testament to the county's commitment to equality and inclusion, saying, quote, by proactively addressing language barriers, we are fostering a more connected community where everyone can fully participate. So DCS staff will go through a bilingual or multilingual certification process, and residents can expect more interpretation services available. All right, reaching out to more people, making more people get access to that crucial information. All right, Michelle Renee, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Of course. But coming up here on News 3 Now this morning, we're going to check back in with Savannah Brito live at Camp Randall with your first warm forecast. See if that rain's going to move out in time for kickoff tonight. And Josh is out there live too. Hey, Josh. Hey, Chris, good morning to you. That's right, it is Badger game day, and we're out at Camp Randall with a special surprise. We have Beck's Badgerland Express. They're getting the tailgating off and running, and they're also celebrating a huge milestone in the 608. We're gearing up for some fun. Coming up next, live on News 3 Now this morning.
You're watching News 3 Now This Morning, brought to you by Toyota. At Toyota's national sales event, we've got a long lineup of vehicles for summer fun. Like Camry, RAV4, Highlander, BZ4X, Tundra, Corolla Hybrid, Tacoma, Sienna, Corolla Hatchback, Sequoia, Prius Prime, RAV4 Hybrid, Land Cruiser, GR Supra, Toyota Crown, 4 Right now, you can lease a sporty new 2024 Corolla for $219 a month. Or lease a new 2025 Camry for $349 a month. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. I was a Kamala Harris supporter. That changed after an illegal alien murdered my son. Running him over, then driving back and forth over Drew's body three times. The man who killed my son had been arrested previously, but Kamala Harris let him go. As San Francisco's DA, Kamala was soft on crime. As a senator, she supported releasing criminal aliens back into our neighborhoods. Kamala Harris is dangerous. Preserve America PAC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Are you ready to make junk disappear? I am so looking forward to this. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. <laughs> Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM. We'll be there before you hang up the phone. We would never hit 12 drunk. Clutch it up drunk? Not a chance. Do a stoppy drunk? We would never drift drunk. So you should never drive drunk. Drive sober or get pulled over. I have prepared a Thomas's breakfast for you to savor together. Thanks, Tom. Hey, are English muffins from England? Heavens no. They're from the pantry. Are you from England? Nay, I am also from the pantry. Huzzah! A toast to breakfast. It's High Bee's Labor Day Grill Out Sale. This Friday through Monday. Fresh ground beef, just $2.99 a pound. Mouthwatering New York strips, just $5.88. Six-pack bottles of Pepsi products, just $3.48. Party size Frito Lay snacks, queso or salsa, just $3.98. Juicy whole seedless watermelon, just $2.99 each. And high V hamburger or hot dog buns, just a dollar. Save in store and online. Friday through Monday, only at High V. I'm Eric Hovde, and I approve this message. There's a side of Eric Hovde you might not know. In his 20s, he was diagnosed with MS, and in that moment, his life and priorities changed. Eric started Hovde Homes. Hovde Homes rescue abandoned children from sex trafficking and slavery. For children who never experienced real love, Hovde Homes offer the love, care, and support they need to heal. MS changed Eric's life, and thousands of children are alive today because of it. You're watching News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. In the 608 this morning, we are all about the Badgers. It is opening day for Badger football, and who better to feature than some Wisconsin super fans? Josh Spriders live at Camp Randall this morning. Continue our team coverage. Hey, Josh, and Savannah out there. How you guys doing? Hey, Chris, good morning to you. I had to have uh, meteorologist Savannah Brito out here because this is her first Badger yeah. game, and you're learning all the new things. First off, Obviously, you know, Badger fans are diehard. What did you think about this bus? It was awesome. I loved getting to jump around and being inside, seeing all the pictures from all the years. So cool. Yeah, so kickoff isn't until 8 o'clock tonight, but that yeah. isn't stopping Badger fans from already no. out here. And we've got a big milestone to talk about, Beck's Badgerland Express. We featured them in the 608 before, and they're back this year celebrating a huge milestone. I want to bring in Lori and Kevin. Come on over here, guys. You guys are super excited to be here. Oh, so oh my gosh, this is so exciting. So this bus... You guys are celebrating 20 years. 20 years, yep. We got in August of 2004. So 20 years later, here you are. Yeah, yep. And it's got all the pictures from all the years. And now it's digital, so now we have to do it, for, you know, on, <laughs> on the iPad. But it used to be old but used people Polaroids, old Polaroids. Polaroids, yeah. Right. So, yep. And you have kind of a unique story of, like, how this came to be because you bought this bus for how much? Well, we got it for 50 bucks. 50 uh, bucks? Yeah, um, someone local in town. I knew that they they ran a bus company, and I always said, when you're ready to sell it, let me know. And uh, they called me and said, we're ready. And we just, you know, it was yellow and black, just like the old school buses, and we did all the work and all the fun stuff to it. And 
got her all fixed up and painted and did all the work ourselves and my son and my daughter and other friends and family and yeah it's been it's been a labor of love right a labor of love when you started this back in 2004 i mean 20 years later did you think you'd still be going strong like this oh yeah because we're diehard badger fans <laughs> we love coming up at least half of the season we make it up at the bus and all of our friends are crazy badger fans and our my brother-in-law, his brother, graduated from Addison, so we've got a lot of Wisconsin in our blood. And his grandpa has had tickets here, season uh, tickets, since like early forever. Early 70s, for sure. Or yeah. Early 70s. He's yeah. we've had the same seats, and yeah, we've always loved so coming we've to Badger come games. To the sure. game and everything. I think that's what's so wonderful about Badger sports, right? Like mm -hmm. this is such a family tradition, and you guys have made this such a tradition for your family and friends. Yes, for sure. Definitely, yes. Yeah, we have a lot of them. We have our annual TAM Fest, which is happening September 14th. That's my crazy friend Tam over there. <laughs> she's and right she's all excited. Now. She's like, I think she's on her, uh, what are you on Facebook over there, Tam? No, she's on live. Right oh, now. you're living us, yeah. <laughs> but this year it's actually on her birthday. I think this is the first year it's actually been on her birthday. So right. that's exciting. That's so we've exciting. got about 25 people coming on the bus. Be... Another 15, 20 people showing up to meet us. People are welcome to stop by. We park over behind the Kohl Center. We've been there for a few years now, so. And you certainly, yeah. you can't miss this bus. No, no, <laughs> right. definitely not. We're the only bus in the parking lot. Oh, oh, I Mike. love it, I love it. All right, so what are you cooking up over here? All right, our good chef over here, Mike. <laughs> yeah, he's got, uh, he's got bacon, he's got sausage. Jones, we got Jones. Yeah, we got some good Jones products, products from our hometown. We got hash browns going. Hash browns. Oh, yeah, here, show them the, all there the we go, the bacon. Bacon, sausage. Yeah, so we got all the good stuff going on. So when it's an early game, 11 o'clock game, we kind of do the, we do the more of the breakfast thing when it's 11 o'clock game. But then yeah, last year we did the remember the, uh, the eggs, in eggs, omelets in a bag. Yeah. We did yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was super good. Well, hey, we appreciate you guys coming out here early. Of course, they have the whole drink setup going on over here. Oh my gosh, look at that! You got the nice. Oh, the, the Baron's Old Fashioned. This is so much fun. Again, if you'd like to come check them out, you can look for Beck's Badgerland Express. Happy 20 years, guys. Congratulations Thank to you. You. Thank you. And, of course, our fun is just getting started here on a Friday morning. We're going to have much more coverage coming up here a little bit Boy. later. Chris, I'm sure you're kind of jealous to be back in the Boy. studio this morning, aren't you? I am. I got to say, I sure am. Oh, they know what they're doing out there. Uh, all that the 20 years of experience uh they, they've got everything down uh i love to see that this morning that excitement for the badger kickoff tonight hey the rain out there this morning uh it looks like it's going to move out of here in time for kickoff savannah yes chris that'll definitely be the case we're not going to be dealing with any rain during that 8 p.m. kickoff at Camp Randall later tonight. Rain moving in on radar right now is just to the north of Platteville and around Prairie du Chien. Couple of very spotty showers near Monroe or south of Monroe and then just southwest of Beloit, Wisconsin, also north of Lake Geneva. Those are the only showers and those aren't even heavy at this point in time. Just a couple of lingering or spotty showers that's associated with that cold front and that's sitting west of our area. As far as temperatures go, what you can expect for kickoff, the lower 70s and then by fourth quarter, I think will fall into the mid to upper 60s. So temperatures definitely going to be comfortable out there for all of the game. And the good news is we'll see skies clear, not even going to have cloud cover. So I'll take you through the next several hours as far as what to expect during the morning up until mid to late morning, maybe a couple of spottier lingering showers. I don't think they're going to be heavy, nothing strong to severe. That threat completely over now. We did have a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings that was west of Madison, Mount Horeb, that area, and even west of that location. Few spotty sprinkles, though, through lunchtime. Clouds are still going to be in place, but after that, all those clouds move out. Temperatures are going to fall for the most part, mid to upper 50s tonight. So it'll be very comfortable outside. The lower 80s are going to return today after making it to the upper 70s. So it is going to be warmer out there, at least for the first half of this upcoming weekend, which is Labor Day weekend. Beyond that into Sunday and Monday, that's when temperatures fall. We're only going to be in the mid to lower 70s. A couple spots probably only hanging out at 71, 72 degrees, so cooler for Sunday and then more specifically into Labor Day. But here's the thing to note, dry conditions. So yes, we'll see those spotty showers in the morning, but beyond that, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, even most of next week looks dry. We're not going to be dealing with an active weather pattern, but by mid to late week, that's when we could see some showers return, I think, right now. That time frame for better rain 
Friday and Saturday, at least holding off until the start of next weekend, which will be the first full weekend in September. I cannot believe we're already talking about, you know, Badger football season, fall, bonfire weather, cooler temperatures. I mean, it feels like summer just started and we're already almost in September, by the way. Meteorological uh, fall, I almost said spring. I wish we were almost in the spring. Meteorological fall, that kicks off on Sunday, September 1st. Boy, it is that transitional part of the year where we're saying goodbye to summer and ushering Crazy. in fall. Yeah, can't believe it's here. All right, Savannah, talk to you soon. Thanks. A look ahead to this weekend. Uh, Taste of Madison is back on the square tomorrow. Some road closures are going to start tonight, though, so the streets surrounding the square's inner loop are going to close at 5 p.m. Those closures are going to last until 2 a.m. Monday. A detailed map can be found on the Taste of Madison website. A Labor Day weekend and air travel is underway this morning. It's going to be the busiest weekend, uh, holiday weekend yet, TSA says. The Transportation Security Administration expects more than 17 million people to be screened at airports through next Wednesday. Uh, yeah, again, the busiest Labor Day on record it should be. Today is expected to be the peak travel day. And if you're staying in Wisconsin this weekend, the state transportation officials are going to pause some highway construction this weekend, but work zones are still going to be present. There are also going to be notable construction projects in our area. We have a full list of everything to expect on the roads this Labor Day weekend at channel3000.com. In all those cases, prepare for lane shifts and reduce speed limits. Coming up next, we have a new contender for best first pitch at a Major League Baseball game. And in our next half hour, a call for action to make sure older Badgers aren't left out when it comes to new ticketing systems. And as we head to break, a look at gas prices. We're back right after this. Eric Franke, News 3 Now at 5, 6, and 10, moving forward. The Labor Day doorbuster deals Friday through Monday at Slumberland Furniture. Up to 60% off list. Get this comfy new sectional for just $9.97 and get the ottoman free. A free recliner with the reclining sofa, only at Slumberland Furniture. Not everyone knows us, but in southern Wisconsin, Illinois, and eastern Indiana, we are famous in our field. As a Sloan's technician, customer service is our specialty, whether you come to see us or we come to you. We are in the business of supporting your business, and we are highly trained to work on your John Deere equipment. At Sloan's, our loyalty lies with you. We depend on you, and we are proud to serve you. When it comes to service, you can count on us. Remember, think Sloan's first. Get an 11% rebate on everything for your next project at Menards. Enjoy a good night's sleep for less with a new Serta mattress. Shop today and save big. The better the mattress, the better the savings. All Serta mattresses are on sale. Plus, get an 11% rebate. Transform your space with liquid defense laminate flooring. It's water resistant, making it a great choice for an active household. Only $149 a square foot after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. The burn pit at our base in Iraq had just shut down, but the poisons were around us everywhere. Back home, I got diagnosed with cancer, but the VA denied coverage to a lot of us who got sick. Tammy Baldwin knew that was wrong, and she wasn't going to let that stand. She worked with both parties to pass a law. So now, thousands of us exposed to toxic chemicals are getting the care that we deserve. It took a fight, but Tammy Baldwin, she's a hell of a fighter. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. I'm so happy I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. This summer, feel confident from head to toe with Sonobello Permanent Fat Removal and get summer body ready in just one visit. I saw the results immediately. It's the best I have felt since I was in my 20s. My waist is tiny. <laughs> I'm very, very happy. I'm nearly 50, y'all. And my abs haven't been this flat since before I had kids. For a limited time, take advantage of Sonobello's biggest sale of the year. Sono Bellows board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells for good on your stomach, hips and thighs, back, and so much more. It will change your life. It did for me. I can't wait till the summertime hit. Hot mom summer, here I come. Call 1-800-905-6520 now or go to sonobello.com to claim special pricing. I'm exhausted. Shopping for a mattress is just so confusing. Sounds like mattress shopophobia. 
At Slumberland, our sleep counselors are here to help you find the best mattress without any pressure. But awesome pressure relief. Slumberland. Stop stressing. Start sleeping. Welcome back. You're taking a look at a picture from Gwen from My News 3 Morning. Check it out. This is a vineyard. We can see some fresh grapes. Nice little... Got any grapes? That's a uh, kid's song. That's before <laughs> my time. <laughs> <laughs> bop, bop, bop. And he waddled away. A few parents know what I'm talking about out there. Uh, thanks, Gwen. That's from Vernon Winery. Appreciate it. Hey, got a couple of cool bits of video for you this morning. The first is from Idaho. Why don't you take a look at this? They have a big balloon festival happening in Boise, Idaho this weekend. It's a five day hot air balloon festival that runs over Labor Day weekend. It features dozens of unique hot air balloons. Look here. Wow, I would love to hop in a hot air balloon oh. and just float away. I know, doesn't that sound lovely? Yeah, and the I bet the bear. views. Look at that. Look All at right, it. beautiful there in Boise, Idaho. And hey, uh, check this out. Does it get much cuter? First pitch at the Dodgers game, and the dog delivered. That is decoy. It's Dodgers star Shohei Otani's little pooch. Aww. There was a bobblehead given out on the game uh, of uh, decoy there last night as well. That's that's pretty adorable. It's too cute, and the control of the dog. I would have been running if if I had a dog. I assume he would have been running all over the field. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Mine certainly would be. Mine certainly would. Uh, yeah, that, that's a cool moment right there. Uh, well, we've got a big day here in Madison today. We've got the Badger football home opener. We're going to have team coverage out of Camp Randall right after this. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Looking to buy or sell? Call Tommy Vaness Realty, First Weber's number one team, dedicated to making your real estate dreams a reality. At Tommy Van S Realty, we understand that buying or selling a home is more than just a transaction. It's about finding the perfect match for your lifestyle. Trust Tommy Van S Realty for all of your real estate needs. Why settle for less? Call Tommy Van S. Chevy lets you begin every day fully charged. So you can go farther. And so can your money. Tow with confidence. Plus, stay connected with available OnStar technology. For summer adventures, Chevy's got you. Get 1.9% financing on this 2024 Silverado when you finance with GM Financial. Or get 5750 total value when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. We know the fentanyl coming from Mexico and China is a threat here in Wisconsin. It's why Tammy Baldwin is working to stop it. And Tammy passed the bipartisan Fend Off Fentanyl Act. It takes on the Mexican cartels and the fentanyl coming from China. And Tammy Baldwin voted 32 times to strengthen our border. 32 times to increase border patrols. And technology to keep illegal drugs out. Because Senator Baldwin knows keeping us safe is her first priority. Tell Tammy Baldwin to keep securing our borders. This right here is confidence in a bottle. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real and I'm so excited. We even have a video and all he uses is a small amount on a clean dry face and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes and I did this to my father. We were at home so we applied it to his under eye bags and let me tell you we were so excited in under 10 minutes they visibly disappeared from view and now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. This Labor Day is the best time to try Plexiderm at our starter price of only $14.95. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Okay, guys, we're all here because U.S. Cellular has an incredible deal. Right now, you can get four lines for just $90. Sorry, just double-checking. Is it really that good of a deal? Yeah. It's a huge deal. You also get four free phones of your choice. Four free phones! Wow, I just triple-checked, and that's awesome. So go get that deal. 
Or at least help me clip. Do you check expiration dates? Oh, I can do that. Great. Get four free phones of your choice with no trade-in needed, plus four lines for $90. Morning. It is game day in Madison. We're live at Camp Randall with team coverage ahead of the Badgers home opener. Plus deadly cases of West Nile virus in Wisconsin where those cases are and what symptoms you should watch out for. Good morning everyone. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 now this morning on a big day for the city of Madison, Badger Nation, the state. It is Opening day for Badger football. We are live at Camp Randall this morning uh, with team coverage. Uh, we had a rainy start to the Friday morning here. Uh, Savannah Burrito is here to tell us what we can expect for the rest of the day. Hey there, Savannah. Hey guys, good morning. The rain did not stop anyone though. So yes, it's still wet outside, but all that heavy rain moving out of here. I was jumping around earlier. So much fun this morning outside of Camp Randall. That kickoff at 8 p.m. later here. We'll be here for the rest of the show till 7 a.m. Badgers. When we see that kickoff at 8 p.m., temperatures are going to be in the lower 70s. Very comfortable lower humidity. Yes, we have dew points that are pushing that 70 degree mark nearly this morning across southern Wisconsin as a result. But once that cold front clears the area, sky is expected to clear and humidity levels are expected to go down all of Labor Day weekend looking beautiful as well. Here's a sneak peek at that radar right now. Really only seeing one spotty spotty shower kind of just west of Beloit, Wisconsin, and then those spotty showers near Prairie du Chien southwest of Lone Rock. So I do think we'll see a couple of spotty ones through the rest of the morning, but we are not going to see a lot of activity as far as that goes into that noon hour. So luckily we're going to have really, really good conditions. We'll have more show that future track, have that play throughout the evening coming up a little later. All right. Sounds good. Savannah, thank you. Our Badger game day coverage continues now. Josh Spryder is live inside of Camp Randall Stadium with some changes that fans are going to see this year. Josh, what should they expect? Hey, Chris, good morning to you. That's right. We're inside Camp Randall on the field on the sidelines here for the first game tonight against the Badgers or the Badgers taking on the Western Michigan Broncos 8 p.m. kickoff. And there are some changes that fans are going to notice this year. Patrick Herb of Wisconsin Athletics joining us this morning. Patrick, good morning to you. Thanks for getting up early and coming here to Camp Randall. Oh, you know, I wouldn't miss a morning like this. And I mean, it was like Christmas Eve last night going to bed for a lot of Badger fans, too. Yeah, the, the seasons are always exciting, but there's something special about the opener. Having it on a Friday night, under the lights, with all the new things we've got here, it's, it's there's like a little bit extra juice, and it doesn't feel like it maybe right now, but this place will be bumping tonight. There's always something about being here early, too, and not seeing anybody here, and then looking at the difference, it's going to be 12 hours from now. Yeah, when, when we've got a basically capacity crowd, 75,000 people, loud music, pyrotechnics, all the bells and whistles of game day, and, and hopefully a big win over Western Michigan. That's, yeah. the, that's the biggest piece. Yeah, fingers crossed. We're going to start the season off strong. You know, what are you hoping fans know about ahead of time before they get to Camp Randall this evening? A, a couple of things. I want to make sure people have the Badger app downloaded. You can download your digital tickets into your wallet to expedite entry into the stadium. Just make sure you get as efficient as experience as possible. Enable the push notifications on your app so you get game day alerts if you need it that's before you come once you get here hopefully you're going to really appreciate this beautiful new scoreboard we've got behind us third largest video board in all of college football we're really excited about some of the features that it could do and and be this great secondary screen to the action on the field but that's just the first thing that we've got here obviously people are pretty excited about the introduction of alcohol stadium wide in this in this venue and we've added a lot of grab and go stations where you can have an efficient experience of just get your beverage get your hot dog check it out yourself and get back to your seat and not miss any action additionally if people are going to be consuming more liquids they might need to find a place to discard those so we've added a whole bunch of new restrooms to to camp randall stadium to make sure that that again people don't have to miss too much action and wait in lines you know you're all about the fan experience and it takes all of those things to really make it happen right like there's a lot that goes into even one single game day here at camp randall people would be astounded at how many people it takes to put on an event like this i mean 
Anytime you're going to welcome 75,000 people into your home, I guess you need a lot of hospitality, but uh, we've got a really good support staff here and an event management team that, that makes Camp Randall the great ex experience in college football. We're, we're really proud of that, and there's, there's tradition and history and, and pageantry here that we want to make sure that never erodes. And, of course, where we're standing now, brand new field. You guys put uh, heated turf in, so this is going to be new for the Badgers this year. Yeah, we're not going to need it tonight. It's going to be nice and warm tonight, but, <laughs> but hopefully someday we're hosting a playoff game here in December. That's the goal every year. And in doing so, we're going to make sure this is not a frozen field. So player safety, operation-wise, it'll make for a much much uh, more conducive uh, field for football in December if it gets really cold. We're going to manifest that December play. How about that? Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do All it. about the energy. Well, Patrick, thank you so much. And go Badgers. Yes, sir. Awesome. If you'd like to learn more about what's happening here at Camp Randall, we have a guide, a News 3 Now guide up on Channel3000.com with everything that we just talked about in detail. So if you need to know more before you get here tonight, Chris, just go to Channel3000.com. All right, guys, kudos to whoever came up with the correlation between the alcohol sales and the extra bathrooms. Uh, that's going <laughs> to come in really handy uh, for future seasons. And some, some light it makes bulb sense. went off somewhere and it's like somebody was like, you know what? We should probably add more <laughs> bathrooms. And, uh, good for fans. All right, Josh Pryor. Good idea. Good, good stuff. Thank you. Hey, this season, tickets for Badger football games are fully digital, but not everyone is adjusting so easily. That includes some longtime season ticket holders. Our Merrill Hubbard has this call for action report. UW Athletics moved ticket sales to fully digital to create a more secure method for entry. With Badger Sports starting up, UW Athletics says the Badgers app is the safest and easiest way to go. Using this app, you can purchase and download tickets to all of the Badger games. It looks fairly simple. Once you get all of the, uh, uh, all the apps involved on your phone, but putting them on the phone for us uh, novices sometimes is not as easy as we thought. Navigating apps are not always second nature. Some people from older generations are adjusting. We had previously had printed tickets, which was more um, old school, but we've uh, advanced into the new era. While others prefer the old way. The sign of the times is not going to work for us. We can't be the only ones. We can't so be the only ones. Letha and Bob have been season ticket holders for over 35 years, but this is the first time they've had to pay an extra fee for a paper ticket. Last year, we could run them off on our printer. Okay, fine. You know, um, but this year it's just everything is technology. For football games, it costs them an extra $75 service charge to print and mail their passes. Add this to their seating fee, and they are paying almost $1,000 to go to the games this season. With this, Letha and Bob hope... But it will make people aware. Will it change anything? Probably not. But for people that are wanting to apply the new technology, the UW Athletics Department has resources to help. They're very... Very well um, equipped with answers to uh, all of us old folks' questions. I was Merrill Hubbard reporting. If you're having trouble with the Badgers app, UW Athletics does have some instructions on their website to help find and buy tickets. And if you're a consumer and you have a complaint about anything, our call for action team is available to help. 637 coming up after the break, how one organization is getting kids ready and excited for the new school year. And we'll head back out live to Camp Randall Stadium to get you another look at your first warm forecast. We'll see if the rain's going to clear on out of here in time for kickoff tonight. And in the 608 this morning, we're talking about some diehard Badger fans. Bex Badgerland Express is back with us on News 3 Now this morning, and they're celebrating a milestone. We're going to help them do it next. Drive into summer with a new Honda Accord Hybrid, CRV Hybrid, or the all-new Civic Hybrid. Take a vacation, staycation, or just a weekend drive with the windows down. Whatever you do, make it epic with Honda. The 2024 Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com Best Overall EV and Hybrid Brand. So act now. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into the Honda Summer Event. My name is Jack Frank. I'm a retired paper mill worker in the valley here, and I work for Copas and Bus part-time on the side. 
I've had my own route now here for the last three, four years, and the kids on it are great. Flexible hours, they work with you in many different ways. If you've got something going, they, they, they accommodate you or they try to get somebody to run your road. Colson treats you decent, you know, all the years I worked here. It's a great place to work. Everyone deserves the fastest, most reliable internet speeds, regardless of where they live. That's why Spectrum offers the fastest speeds in more neighborhoods than any other provider. Switch to Spectrum Internet for only $49.99 a month. Call 1-833-376-4999. With Spectrum Internet, you can power all of your devices to enjoy streaming, video chatting, and gaming. I rely on Spectrum Internet. You should too. Call now. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. Everyday prices are too high. Food, rent, gas, back-to-school clothes. That is called Bidenomics. A loaf of bread costs 50% more today. Ground beef is up almost 50%. There's not much left at the end of the month. Bidenomics is working. The price of housing has gone up. It feels so hard to just be able to get ahead. And we are very proud of Bidenomics. News 3 Now, covering election 2024 every step of the way. From Chicago. As Kamala says, when we fight, we win. To Milwaukee. The energy is there and we want to be part of it. And everywhere the candidates stop in our crucial swing state. My fourth trip to Wisconsin since I became the VP nominee. We'll be there, talking to you, the people, and covering the issues that matter right here. Three for the people, only on News 3 Now, moving forward. You're watching News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. We're back at 641 in the 608 today. We are all about the Badgers because it's uh, opening day for Badger football. And who better to feature than some Wisconsin super fans. And they have a big milestone today. Josh Breiner is live outside of Camp Randall, hanging out with them this morning. And uh, Savannah Brito is joining him. Uh, what's going on, gang? Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, when I was going to be out here for the first Badger game, I was like, all right, Savannah, we got to really get you be to be a Wisconsinite because this is your first Badger game. Yeah. And what are you thinking so far? It's so much fun. We had some eggs and bacon. Everyone got here at like 4.30 in the morning. So it's awesome that we're already starting early and the game's not till 8 p.m. Yeah, Badger so fans are diehard. I know, it's so great. And this is Wisconsin only the beginning. Wisconsin culture, yes. yeah. Yes, and of course, like you talk about tailgaters, like where we're sitting now, yeah. what do you think about this bus? So cool. The pictures on the wall, I mean, these go back to, I think, 2004. It's the 20th year. So cool seeing all of this. Yeah, you'll see I mean, wow. some of the signs that say cheers to 20 yeah. years because they're celebrating that big milestone. Lori and Kevin of Vex Badgerland Express are with us. Guys, good morning. Morning. Good morning. Oh, my gosh. You guys are back with us once again. And, of course, this is a day that we wait for every single year. But this year is a little bit more special for you. It's 20 years. We've had the bus since 2004. And so we're just celebrating all of our badger love and coming back for another year i love it and kevin when you bought this bus for 50 bucks back in 2004 right what did you think about the transformation into where we are now you're right at the time i was just doing just the actual uh, the outside but then creating the inside yes we we've added things over the years we've added the bunk beds we've added a big homemade couch here that we made here you know we just yeah things and pieces and new cabinets and it's just fun to create and have fun with all our friends and helping us out doing that and getting stuff for us. And it's been fun. It's been yes. a lot of fun. It's become such a tradition for you. And I love all of the photos because you guys are documenting every single time, every single year. There's so many memories inside this bus. Right. We've had like all of our um, friends and their little kids and now their grandchildren are coming back. And it's been really fun to see all the kids all the people through the ages. And besides Still the Badger games, naturally, we've gone to Packer games. We've done, I'm looking at one there where we haul our kids around softball games, you know, when they were on the softball team, Devil's Lake. We went, you know, so, so besides the Badger games, 
we've had a lot of fun with it, you know, doing other things, proms and yeah, lots weddings. of different things, weddings, you name it, we've done it with a bus, right? Yeah. I love it. And of course, we're all about traditions, and you guys know this is Savannah's first Badger game. Mm -hmm. So what best advice do you have for this brand new Wisconsin night? Boy. Anything? Well, the first thing is we need to put her in some Bucky clothes. Yes. <laughs> because we need to teach her who Bucky is. <laughs> Sorry, Savannah. I'll admit I didn't know. Yeah. Sad face. And one of these days, she's going to have to come on the bus so we can teach her all the traditions of Wisconsin. You know, I Absolutely. actually brought this hoodie for her this yeah. morning because she's oh. like, I need something I have Wisconsin. I a drink Wisconsin a shirt, but that's all I own right now. I'm like, I can't really wear it. Awesome. All right. So first game tonight, what are our predictions? Badgers by 20. Oh. Ooh. That's a good one. What do you think, Lauren? I say 13. By Badgers 13. by 13. All right. Take it. Well, let's go Bucky. It's going to be Bucky. nice to see the lights on the stadium. <laughs> yes, it'll be nice. Yeah. It'll be neat to have a night game. Nice night game. One. And yeah. cheers to 20 years. Congratulations, guys. That's Thank you. such Appreciate an awesome it. milestone. Thanks for inviting us back. Yes, yes, you bet. If you'd like to learn more about Beck's Badgerland Express or what's happening here at Camp Randall starting tonight, you can go to the story on channel3000.com. We're just giving you a hard time. But now I think I we can call you an official Wisconsin night after today. I live in Wisconsin, live, breathe Wisconsin, right? And the weather is going to be good. We'll have more on that in a We've little bit. We've actually been kind of lucky it's now. Stopped raining. It's stopped raining. So uh, raining we're so happy and we're not wet anymore. Exactly. So. <laughs> you got your raincoat just I in I sure case. did. I sure did. Chris, we'll send it back to you. Oh, jealous. Yeah. Good company, good breakfast, great atmosphere. All right, Josh and Savannah, we'll check back in shortly. Josh is always looking for inspiration to share in the 608. So if you have an idea you think would make for a good segment, reach out. Let them know about it. All right, well, happening today, there is a nonprofit helping kids get excited for the school year. The Loop Sun Prairie is hosting a really unique back to school drive this afternoon. Our Michelle Renee Quinn has been talking with organizers and she's here with the details. Hey, Michelle Renee. Good morning, Chris. And yes, those details are fresh cuts and trendy threads. A school supply drive featuring a back to school fashion show. The Loop, acting as a community center for Sun Prairie, invites people to donate new or gently used school supplies at the event. Community members in need can take home supplies from the event, and anyone in need of a barber can receive a ticket for a free cut. Now, if you get a ticket at the event, you can redeem it at Mr. Rudd's Barber Shop as a walk-in this Sunday. Goodie bags donated by Killer Main Salon will be offered to those not eligible for a barber cut. And fashion designer Denisha Linton will be sharing fashion inspiration through her brand, Destitched It's Back to School Fashion Show. Again, that's happening today, and the show starts at 2 p.m. So you are going to want to arrive early because there is no admittance during the show and the post show starts at 4 p.m. And that's when there will be games, dinner, socializing and a chance to grab those supplies. Uh, sounds like a lot of fun. I love when the community comes together. Uh, you see different local businesses and different influencers all for one common cause. Love to see that. Thanks for letting us know about it. Absolutely. Thanks, Michelle. Ray. All right, let's get in uh, to the forecast today. Uh, Savannah Burritos out there uh, at Camp Randall to let us know how things are. Hey, Michelle. Uh, excuse me. Hey, Savannah. <laughs> hey, Chris. Good morning. The heavy rain long subsiding. We did see a couple of heavier bands, some lightning and thunder, actually decent amounts overnight. We saw about half an inch or almost up to three quarters across areas in Dane County west of here up near La Crosse where all those severe thunderstorm warnings did kind of affect those areas. That's where all the heaviest of the rain was tracking through. They saw upwards of about two to three inches, so some pretty heavy rainfall rates. We're really not seeing anything. Most activity across northern Illinois and even east of Milwaukee and Kenosha off towards Lake Michigan at this point this morning. The Badgers game today at 8 p.m. at Camp Randall. That's why our team is here this morning. It's going to be beautiful outside after we get through these thicker clouds right now. I do think temperatures are going to fall into the lower 70s at kickoff. By the end of the game, temperature is already down in those mid to upper 60s. 60s and our overnight lows are actually going to fall probably about another 10 degrees right near that 60 degree mark. Some of us might even fall into those mid to upper 50s out there. That can be expected, but we do have a couple of lingering morning showers. Like I mentioned up until about lunchtime, maybe a few stray showers, still a decent amount of cloud cover as we head for the evening, though. That's when temperatures will actually make it in the mid to upper 70s. That'll be where we sit our daytime highs. We achieve clouds going to quickly decrease after that. I expect mostly clear skies overnight. So for the Badgers game, expecting skies to clear out and temperatures are going to be comfortable. Another thing to note, higher humidity levels and dew points right now, those are all going to come 
settling down later though, so it will be comfortable out there, not going to be dealing with as muggy of conditions as what we're seeing right now. Labor Day weekend also looking beautiful, 82 Saturday. We're down to the mid 70s, maybe a few areas with the sunshine topping out in the upper 70s will be really dry though, low humidity levels and dew points. So a very, very nice weekend and stretch of weather for Labor Day weekend. Thankfully, we're not seeing those high humidity levels and 90s that we had Sunday we made it into the upper 80s and then the 90s the three days to follow that all moving out of here Chris much more comfortable of weather and I'm happy that we're only going to be talking about the lower to mid 70s very perfect almost for Labor Day at least in my opinion but yeah we couldn't ask summer for a, still here for couldn't at ask least for another a much month. better uh, Labor Day weekend forecast Savannah all right yeah. we'll talk here shortly coming up in the morning sprint new details in an incident involving former President Donald Trump at Arlington National Cemetery. If you have a little kiddo turning three soon, let us know. We'll show their picture on TV to help them celebrate. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Let's do this. Introducing Chevy's best lineup of SUVs ever. The rugged, always ready Trailblazer. The first ever Traverse Z71. And the Chevy Trax, starting at $21,495. When it's your time to shine, Chevy's got you. Get 1.9% financing on select popular 2024 Chevy SUVs when you finance with GM Financial. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. To everyone out there who loves Culver's. The feeling is mutual. Everything's made fresh. Everything. Everything. It's our pleasure. Oh. This is me and my happy place. <laughs> I wouldn't trade our Culver's for any other restaurant. Culver's. Yay! We love our guests. Love. Love. As much as our guests love us. This is me and my happy place. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to Delicious. delicious. Yeah. My day is packed. Client meetings. Patient rounds. Getting kids out the door. But Eric Hubdy thinks all women care about is Hollywood. It's just uh, deplorable. Sadly, with, you know, females, they spend too much time focused on what's going on in Hollywood. Well, guess what, Eric Hubdy? We know you supported overturning Roe versus Wade. And we know you'd vote for a national abortion ban, too. Eric Hubdy must think he knows better than us. What is wrong with this guy? I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. Everyone deserves the fastest, most reliable internet speeds, regardless of where they live. That's why Spectrum offers the fastest speeds in more neighborhoods than any other provider. So switch to Spectrum and get a powerful network that connects nearly 500 million devices. Switch to Spectrum Internet for only $49.99 a month with free modem, no data caps, and no contracts. Plus save with our two-year price guarantee when you level up to a gig. Call 1-855-735-1336 or scan to call. With Spectrum Internet, you can power all of your devices to enjoy streaming, video chatting, and gaming with the most reliable internet speeds. Get a powerful network that millions of customers rely on. I rely on Spectrum Internet. You should too. Switch to Spectrum Internet for only $49.99 a month with 99.9% .9 network reliability, no added taxes or hidden fees, and no contracts. Plus save with our two-year price guarantee. Call 1-855-735-1336. Call now. Shopping online for a purple mattress? We get it. With Purple's unique gel flex grid and multiple foam layers, you'll experience effortless sleep that's motion adaptive, temperature balanced, pressure relieving, and ultra supportive. But which Purple mattress is right for you? Come to Denver Mattress and test for yourself. During Purple's Labor Day sale, save up to $1,000 on mattress and base bundles and get an instant gift. Shop Purple at Denver Mattress, the easiest way to find your perfect purple. Ruber Law Offices, one call, that's all. 6.53, time for the morning sprint. We begin with former President Donald Trump saying that he supports federal funding for IVF procedures. He made the comments at a town hall in La Crosse last night. Former Congresswoman and Democratic presidential candidate Tulsi Gabbard moderated. The former president also spoke about immigration, inflation, and national security. New details surrounding an alleged altercation involving campaign staff of former President Trump. The U.S. Army camp, uh, says that a campaign staffer shoved a staff member of Arlington National Cemetery. The Army runs the cemetery. 
It happened Monday during a wreath laying ceremony. The cemetery staff member allegedly instructed the campaign not to do any campaigning on grounds. In the meantime, Vice President Kamala Harris is defending her shifts in policy positions over her time in office. She made the case in an interview with CNN last night. It was her first sit-down interview since President Joe Biden ended his campaign. Harris addressed her reversal on banning fracking. She also committed to appointing someone who is a Republican to her cabinet if elected. A Wisconsin Dell school counselor is facing child sex assault charges this morning. Police arrested 32-year-old Corey Alfaro this week. He's accused of repeated acts of sexual assault of a child. Investigators say they were alerted to an inappropriate relationship Alfaro was having with a student. The school district notified parents yesterday. A Madison man pleading guilty to a homicide charge stemming from a deadly crash. 26-year-old Alex Jung pleaded guilty to homicide by intoxicated use of a vehicle. It happened August 9th of last year and left an 83-year-old man dead. A criminal complaint says Jung was going 80 miles an hour just before the crash. A sentencing date has yet to be set. Madison police are searching for a suspect involved in a sexual assault from last month. Officers say this man grabbed a woman inappropriately near the Holiday Inn West. He's believed to have a gray pickup truck with a gray colored topper. Anyone with information that could help investigators should call Madison Area Crime Stoppers. State health officials say two people are dead from West Nile virus. One is in the hospital with the condition. The cases are in Outagamie, Fond du Lac, and Brown counties. DHS says most people who are infected don't have symptoms. If they do become ill, they experience fever, chills, headache, muscle ache, rash, and fatigue. Uh, first warn traffic alert now. The streets surrounding Capitol Square's inner loop are going to be closed this weekend to make way for Taste of Madison. The closures will begin this evening at 5 o'clock. The streets will reopen to vehicle traffic midnight on Monday. Taste of Madison is Saturday and Sunday. We are just over 13 hours from kickoff, and it's going to be a beautiful evening at Camp Randall, Savannah. I know. I'm just be I'm excited. I almost said I'm beautiful. The <laughs> forecast is going to be beautiful. We're going to see temperatures uh, cool down into the lower 70s for kickoff, so actually perfect conditions despite all the cloud cover that we're waking up to right now, those heavy showers. We're not going to be dealing with that later today. Mid to upper 60s by the time the game ends. So absolutely perfect weather conditions. Couldn't ask for a better night. And then the good news is all of Labor Day weekend. Sunshine and dry with cooling temperatures. Chris. All right. Thanks, Savannah and Josh. We'll have another news and weather update coming up in 30 minutes.